Why is there a, an accent over the A in Doppelganger? Is that how it's actually meant to be? That's a weird looking wall over there. I'm gonna assume this is not a wall that I can like knock over or destroy. And I see a switch, so it's one that I'm probably gonna have to manipulate with the buttons. I guess let's see what's over this way first before we go hitting any buttons. Looks like a white candy pop bud. I have indeed. I got a 100% in the first three areas. Alright, so I'm going to want to throw blues in there because blues are the ones I can actually get more of. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm, I've been playing Pikmin like most of my life so i am i am driven to to complete each one of the games there's an nes controller up there it's interesting okay what do we got over here that's a matryoshka doll top uh, i guess we'll get you moving Maybe I'll escort you a bit to see what kind of obstacles you might encounter on the way. Lots of gold. Alright, let's just kill this guy. You're not gonna drown, whites. You're good. You don't beat a game until 100%. I mean, my whole entire shtick as like a streamer and as a gamer is beating a whole bunch of different games, but I I can't I can't agree because oh shit, things are dying because there are lots of games that I have marked as beaten but did not 100% because sometimes a game's criteria for 100% to me just don't become worth it. Like if it's a game that I like or a game where getting 100% is a reasonable task, then I usually will go for it. But like, I don't want to try, I don't strive for 100%ing every single game I come across, because sometimes that's just repetitive or tedious. Usually I'll, I'll say, like, if I see the credits of the game, I'll consider it beaten. But then if it's a game that I really like, I will, I'll push for 100%. Alright, there's another Matryoshka doll piece here. Is this guy poison? Okay, I, I, I had seen one of those before, I think. Uh-oh. Okay, these guys are... Not actually a threat, they're just more annoying than anything. That was a little chaotic over there. <laughs> Alright, they're all moving. They're all schmoving. There's a whole bunch of gold over there, and then there was the NES controller. I think now's the time to hit the button. Ooh, finish the whole series. So there's, it doesn't seem like there's a very fast way of getting this gold either way. Oh well. I, I will, we'll just get it out of the way now. For 
for the ones who are not blue Pikmin. They'll just have to walk around. But I think they should be able to path their way back. I guess I should have done the, the poison Pikmin. Or I should have kept my poison Pikmin so that I would have access. Um... Okay, interesting. So this wall shut on me. I think I'm going to have to do some funkiness. Sorry for hitting the mic there. I think I'm going to have to do some funkiness with Ochi. How do I get off of you? Okay. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to dismiss everybody. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'll press the button. And then if I switch to play as Ochi. I can come over here. And there we go. Uh, but they're not going to be able to exit. Unless they can go through the tunnel. Are they actually going to be? There's no way they can make it through the tunnel. What? What? <laughs> no way, Jose. Oh my god, they did it. I was, I was not expecting it. <laughs> I was not expecting the controller to just nicely shrink down to be carried through the tunnel there. I thought I was going to have to switch back to control myself to open the, the pathway again, but nope. That was funny. Come on. Get on board. Yeah, where's the shrinking Pikmin? Maybe they're too small that you can't even see them to begin with. Just shrink the controller down to make it fit. All right, that should be it for this floor, so we can move on to floor three. I do like the caves. The caves add a new level to Pikmin that you didn't have in the other games. It's a little more relaxed because you can focus on completing everything before moving on. While when you're on like an overworld, you're always worrying about the time. So I do like the caves because you can slow down a little bit and think. But then there's always the pressure of like, oh, well, if my Pikmin start dying, then we're kind of screwed. All right, let's start with the, the spiders over here. Your water bullshit won't work on water, Pikmin. They feel a little short to you. I think they still take a decent amount of time in this game. But it has been a little bit since I've played Pikmin 2 to cut, like to be able to compare the times of them. But I think like getting like a four floor cave was kind of was more rare. I've had more like most of the caves in this game have been four to six floors. Well, I felt like most of the caves in the other one in Pikmin 2 were like three floors. But who knows? Maybe my old 
dementia addled brain doesn't remember well. Is this thing on this side? I'm guessing I want it to be on this side when I jump. Okie dokie. Look at those grapes, I'm assuming. Nice. Okay, they're working on that. I think I need to clear out the fungi. Okay. Leave the grapes there for now until we figure out how to reverse that. Turn some blues into whites. Throw the rest of the blues here. Looks like there's another... conveyor over here. I know I can charge against the conveyor, but I don't know if I can if it's as long as that one is over there. You guys come over here, please? Thank you. Let me try charging. Yeah, the, I, the caves in two were definitely meaner. Okay, that one... That conveyor is still going the wrong way. I remember the, the bomb rocks dropping out of the sky. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Alright, I think I have to come through here. I was getting impatient. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't call the rest of my whites to me. Okay. Looks like I can call another base over there. Ah! Scary. If I want to kill him easily I and I don't have Ochi at my disposal, I can pretty much only use the blues. Unless I can find a way to reverse... I can reverse the directions over there. That one ice pigment over there that's really struggling. Let's see... I wonder... If I throw you guys to do this, can you figure out the pathing? Are they smart enough to work that around? I'm mostly just wondering if that... I know I'm pointing in real life. If that right there is a slope they can walk up. Oh no, they're going around that way. Wait, so why couldn't they do that with the grapes? Is it because it wasn't all blues? It might be because it wasn't all blues, actually. I just ruined one Pikmin's uh, ti whole time. And now he has to go get the last... Uh, <laughs> he has to go get the last piece. Okay, that's why. Because they have to walk through the water with the grape over there. Makes sense. Alright, so without setting off the guy in the middle, we're gonna come over here. This wall should be finished. Get the whole squad with me. Let's head on up. And if I hit this button... Okay, that, mo that changed the moving walkways. Which is helpful. Still doesn't get me 
Ochi yet. I'll grab that orange after I've got the walls lowered. Okay, they're still working on the grape. Let's see, there's a, a path with the moving walkways over here. So let's see, I can go up there. That's the exit and there's a fan. Don't know where the fan's gonna blow me. Probably back or the other way. Uh, let's see what's over here. Hopefully this will lead me to... A, there's a button there. That'll probably lower the, the things. Um, well, I don't have yellows. They didn't give me yellows. I wonder if they expect me to throw a Pikmin across while I'm on this walkway here. We'll throw the blues because they're the most <laughs> disposable. Okay. Now the walkways are gone. I have access to Ochi and everything and I should be able to kill these enemies. Okay, let's deal with the rock shooter now. Ah, they melted him. Crap. All right, I can move the base here, though. Sad that they could just <laughs> yeah, that took me a second. I'm like, okay, I don't I don't have yellows. And so I was like, either one of these fans in the distance is gonna blast me up there or I have to try throwing them. I'm glad that that went smoother than I anticipated. Everybody come to me because the other guys are weak to the poison mushrooms. trouble reaching it. How much does it take to freeze this? Go with that. Okay, another enemy over here. bunch there. These guys are just standing around doing nothing. Alright, got that. There was another one over here. Get that guy. Looks like there's something behind it. That just looks like debris, though, of some type. Oh, cool. Another series completed. Uh, 
Now, I'm pretty sure there was another treasure up near the exit, so it's probably easier to... to move my base, but I think I need to actually reverse the... the directions of the walkways to carry something this way. All right, let's go get Ochi back. I'm scared every time I go down that wall that the Pikmin are just going to start yeeting off the edge. I think I want to move my base here. And then we're going to charge up this way. And then because I moved the walkway to go in reverse, this puzzle piece is just carryable. Can you guys help make that a little faster? Thanks. And that should theoretically be the last piece for this floor. Okay. And as much as I don't like it, I know that I can move on to the next floor without gathering every Pikmin, because they will come with me. Wild Pikmin will disappear. I wonder how that happens. Oh, a a big uh, a big luring boy. I wonder what your gimmick's going to be. Ah, that was too close. It is the big boy. Do I want them to be destroying the gold? Or is the gold just a red herring? That was close. Well. It's only one blue, it's fine. All right, which way is he going to eat? Because I want to destroy everything that he's not eating. I was trying to target the gold. Ah, why is he going for that one? Okay, if he's frozen, then I can focus this, this gold right here. Only one piece of gold left. I'm trying to hit the gold, not... Not him. That's fine, I'll sacrifice the one blue to get this final piece of gold off him. 
Oh, they need to be hitting the red part on his back to actually damage him, I see. I, I'm imagining it's probably because it's not real gold. My guess is that it's like smart, like fool's gold. I'm sure the bestiary entry would probably explain it. No. Why am I not on Ochi? There we go. He's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty cute. Ah, oh, it's a D4. I can take a look next time uh, I make it back to the to the base. That's a D20. That's just a bunch of gold. Let's see uh, about over here. And that's a survivor. Now, I don't think I lost any white Pikmin there. I think I only lost either ice or blue Pikmin. Actually, I think I kept my ice, so I think it's just blue. Yeah, it's a whole person. <laughs> Oh, it was a leafling. Interesting. So that's another person I have to to cure. All we can do is bring him back and get him cured. Yep. I think I have a couple of cures, like, stockpiled already for leaflings. And that was the last of the treasure, so that should mean, theoretically, that this dungeon is finished. I got some more whites. Which is good. I'd like to be able to get more than... What do I have now? 24? <laughs> Three series. Nice. I'll, I'll read all of the treasures at the end of the day. I, try, I don't read them after the, the dungeons, because they just repeat them again. Once you end the day. Things to do at the rescue command post. You get handed a whole bunch of side missions of things that I would already be doing my on my own. That's what I do. The night expeditions were a good addition. You like the tower defense style? I I like it. I just don't like um I don't like how many different directions the enemies can come from. I feel like I'm constantly running around, like playing, playing like catch up. I, w I wish that the enemies themselves were tougher and that I had to like, like I would see them coming down like one way and then it's like, oh shit, here comes a, a ball black emperor, better get ready. But it is, I like, the concept is good. But then also the fact that you only have one type of Pikmin and that t one type of Pikmin feels really disposable means you're basically just running around spamming either Ochi's Rush or throwing Pikmin at whatever is just there. You don't have to, you don't have to think too hard about it. Why is there somebody messaging my work chat at 9 p.m.? Go away. <laughs> I am not on the clock.
I got quite a few treasures from the, uh... The, uh... The house level. Nice. It's a whole bunch of series finished in one go. Alright, let's let us review our success for the day. We got, oh man, so many things. Priceless Bird, Number Jumper, Trap Lid, Unbreakable Promise, SS Chocolate, SS Peppermint, Think Tank Combo Bot, Mechanical Harp, Windmills, that was playing the song of storms at me, Face Wrinkler, Astringent Clump, Merciless Extractor, Granddaughter Dollhead, Gifting Vase, Life Controller, Dusk Pustules, Pocked Airhead, Citrus Lump, Memory Fragment, Top-ish, Thrill Ride Track, Difficult Choice Totem, Go With The Flow Totem, and as usual, Nuggets. We jumped to 24%. I lost... I lost the reds and yellows fighting against the, the spike shooty boy. And then the blues were in the dungeon. But I didn't lose any ice or white, which is good. Hey, Dingo, isn't it about time you got back out there and helped us search for the missing castaways? Maybe, but who's going to protect the rescue command post while I'm gone? And it has been helpful to have Dingo on call to provide any necessary guidance for Dan. Well, I suppose I hadn't considered it that way. Well, be sure to consider it in the future. <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> All right. 